Hello, my name is Simon Cadell, and welcome to the News Millennium. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Islam, a religion so hated it causes people to hate completely unrelated religions. Seriously, Sikhs have nothing to do with Islam, although maybe Trump actually hates them and meant to say 7-Eleven. But ever since 9-11, Americans have a bit of a vendetta against Muslims, and recently we've seen many examples. Last year, a Muslim student named Ahmed Mohammed, who brought a homemade clock to school, was accused of building a bomb. Earlier this year, a Muslim man was forced off a plane for saying God willing in Arabic. And throughout this year's election, the Republican Party has been known for its rampant Islamophobia. It seems that today's Republican Party views Muslims in the same way that film critics view Michael Bay. Evil, obsessed with explosions, and the end of Western civilization as we know it. But much of the hatred towards Muslims comes from a fundamental misunderstanding of the religion. And today, I'd like to correct some common misconceptions about Islam. Maybe you can share it with your elderly relatives. Send an email to their AOL account with the subject line, THE TRUTH ABOUT MUSLIMS in all caps. Firstly, let's define what a Muslim is. A Muslim is a person who follows the religion of Islam, an Abrahamic religion that follows the same God as Christians and Jews. Allah is simply the Arabic word for God, not another deity. Muslims also believe in Jesus, but they don't think he was the son of God. It's like the friend who liked Inside Out, but didn't love it. They don't dislike him, they just don't think he was as great as everyone said he was. Also, not all Muslims are Arab, and not all Arabs are Muslim. In fact, the country with the most Muslims is Indonesia, which geography-wise is closer to Australia than the Middle East. Assuming that all Muslims are Arab is like assuming that all Prius drivers are vegans. It's not uncommon, but it's not required. People also have strange ideas about what the Quran says. For instance, the hijab, or face covering, was never mentioned in the Quran, and only two countries, Iran and Saudi Arabia, require it. Everywhere else, that's a person's choice. Now, there are some scary quotes in religious books, such as the line, Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, children and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. Now, it seems like proof that Islam is a violent religion, until you realize that wasn't in the Quran. It was in the Bible. And as we know, there are no Christian terrorists. I mean, those guys in white sheets aren't terrorists. They're just religious home decorators. And this leads me to my main problem with Islamophobia. There is this misconception the state says Islamic countries are basically sandy Westeros. However, many Islamic countries have been making great strides in social and scientific issues. For instance, let's look at Tunisia, a country where the Tatooine scenes from Star Wars were shot. However, unlike Star Wars, it got better as time went on. Ever since removing their dictator during the Arab Spring, Tunisia has become a rather progressive country, with abortions being allowed on demand and gender parity being written into the constitution. Tunisia is sandy, revolutionary, and surprisingly feminist. Kinda like Mad Max Fury Road. And look at Iran. Right-wing politicians have called this country a monster, an evil regime, and Lindsey Graham said the Iran deal ensured that the Arabs will go nuclear, despite the fact the deal was created to avoid development of nuclear weapons, and the fact that Iranians aren't Arabs, they're Persian. You can't assume they're the same just because they look similar. That's like asking an Italian guy about his bar mitzvah. But despite being viewed as evil, Iran has quietly become the world's number one country in stem cell research. In fact, a leading Iranian researcher at the Howard University Cancer Center said, Islam is very compatible with the modern sciences. Policies that may be classified as liberal in the American political system seem to be common sense to Iranians. Not a good sign where a country that follows Sharia law is considered progressive. So, my fellow Americans, I understand that it's nice to have a scapegoat, but Islam is a peaceful religion that doesn't deserve to be hated. If you want a new target, I have an idea. They oppress women and gay people, they're obsessed with weaponry, and they're stuck in the Dark Ages. They are the Republican Party. Thank you guys, I'm Simon Cadell, and this was the News Millennium.